So once you receive the system, you'll need to connect your serial cable up to configure it for the first time. There is a warning label over the top of the serial port when it's first received. You'll need to remove that label so you can get access to the port. And underneath it will be the port itself labeled CLI. You'll take your USB cable which you received with the system. You'll plug it into that port. And then you'll plug the other end into the laptop that you're going to use to configure it. Then download the device driver for the USB serial cable supplied in the packaging from Lenovo. Run the EXE file and accept the license agreement. Accept or change the default installation folder. Installation is completed successfully. Use Device Manager or the control panel to view the new COM port that was installed. In our case, it's under Unspecified Device and is COM4. Then open PuTTY or a terminal program of your choice and select Serial. Under Serial Line, enter COM4, and under Speed, enter 115200. Then click Open. In the login screen, enter the default credentials for a new system. The default login name is Manage. The default password is exclamation point Manage. A very useful command is Help. It's also a good idea to have a copy of the CLI reference manual available. The command to show how to set up a network IP address is help set network parameters. In this display example, the help command shows the command needed to enter the IP address, netmask, gateway, and controller selection. Type in and enter your new IP address for controller A. The command is set network parameter IP, netmask, gateway, and controller A. The last screen is a successful completion of setting the new controller IP address. The final steps are to log into the web interface and follow the installation wizard and documentation to install the S2200 storage system.